Well, again, that's the way you were taught. And it may not have been taught in precept, but it's been taught by example. Yeah. And you somehow or another feel like you just can't rest and, and receive the love of God unconditionally. You feel like you've got to constantly be performing. Mm -hmm. And I would say that you don't understand something. In my own life, I came out of a performance-based thing, and it took me years to get to renew my mind. And I still find myself every once in a while slipping back into that because there is no role model for this. Like, you know, Carrie and I have a great relationship and she loves me and I know that Carrie has given me a lot of grace, but if I just acted bad enough, <laughs> Carrie would probably treat me badly. <laughs> but you know, God's not like that. God will never leave me nor forsake me. Carrie may have limits, but God doesn't have any Amen. limits. And I've had to renew my mind and because there isn't anybody else who treats me unconditionally the way God does, if I just quit looking in the Word of God, quit fellowshipping with God, and just let myself go, eventually I'll have this performance mentality come back on me. So it's something that you have to yeah. constantly keep the engines turned on. It's like flying. Gravity never disappears. It's still there. You're just overcoming it by the law of thrust and lift, aerodynamics. But if you cut off the engines, you'll, you'll begin to fall back into it. Yeah.